Hello my fellow art enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be painting a smaller painting, an abstract painting inside an abstract painting with a really cool fading effect, a new something new that I figured out and that I want to show you today. To start off the painting I wanted to use some earthy colors and that's what we're doing here for the first background layer. If sometimes the colors feel a little bit dull, you can add some spray paint like we're doing here just to add these highlights back and I'm using some yellow and some pink to accentuate the reddish kind of color. We're adding some swirly lines just to make the background a little bit more dynamic, give it some depth, uh, make it more interesting as the second layer of the painting. So what we're doing now is we're basically creating the border for the second painting that I was talking about earlier, like the painting inside the painting. And we're putting it at an angle, so it's not parallel to the borders of the big canvas. And impulses have chosen her. It's all about contrast, so we're using a darker color for this background. And then we're using bright colors to make it look interesting but you can choose whatever colors you want. It doesn't really matter as long as you create some contrast. And now we're going to create this fading effect and to do so it's very simple. You apply some good masking tape. I'm using the frog tape. It creates really crispy edges. And once you have done that, you cover up the rest of the painting. And then you use some black spray paint and you apply a very thin coating. And once it's dried, after you applied that thin coating, you're going to add the second masking tape layer. And you might already know where this is going. We're going to apply another layer. So it gets a little bit darker. And then you apply again a layer of masking tape. And you repeat that as many times as you want or until it's so dark that you wouldn't create another, let's call it, step. And now to reveal what we have created, Let's see what's left. I absolutely love this effect. I'm gonna use it in more of my paintings because it's so cool. But we're not finished here. We created the one fading effect and now we're gonna add a few more. Just the direction that they're flowing basically is gonna be different and it's gonna look very cool in total. In this case we want the darkest part to be in the middle, so after adding the first layer we're gonna add masking tape from the top and from the bottom, so they get closer to each other from both sides and the darkest part is gonna be in the middle. The contrast that we created with the black spray paint, even though we use very earthy tones for the background layer, they have a lot of power. But you still wanted to use those darker background tones because we still have the small painting in the middle that's gonna be, let's say, the star of this painting. Now we're gonna create a reverse fade effect basically. We're doing the same what we did before with the black, just with some white. And this is just because we wanted to do something with the black areas, right? We didn't just want to leave them black. Yeah, I thought maybe the white was a little bit too strong on this one, so I made it black again. And now for the final layer, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give the painting inside the painting 
a little bit more power basically i wanted it to stand out more from the rest and make it a little bit more interesting so we're giving it like this pink shimmering effect from the sides And for the final layer of this painting, we're adding some blue droplets within the smaller painting that we have created. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to support me as an artist, please do so now. Maybe leave a thumbs up or comment on my video, it really helps me out. I wish you a wonderful day, see you next time and bye bye.